Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do corner orientation in square one. So when you do corner orientation, you will always have to misalign the layer by one or negative one. So if you just misalign by one, it will still stay in cu a cube shape or negative one, it will st still stay in a cube shape. But if you have no uh, layer misaligned, you'll change the cube shape into a kite kite. And if you have both of them misaligned, the same thing. So at all times throughout the solve after cube shape, you just want to misalign the cube by one or negative one. Also when doing corner orientation, uh, you always want to solve the side that you have on top, like in the in corner orientation. So what a lot of people do, exam for example, I am a yellow on top solver. What some people do is, let's say they have something in this case, they will not really care about the side and they j will just solve the white on top. And this is problematic because when you continue to solve, finish EP, you will still have to switch the sides like uh, using that normal algorithm. So always remember to solve yellow on top if you're a yellow on top solver and a white on top if you're a white on top solver. Here's the first case. So this is just two bars here. So two corners here, two corners here. And all you have to do here is just slice. Here's the next case. What we have here is two diagonal swaps and you have to slice where it will create two bars. So not like this, where it, when you slice it goes back to diagonal, diagonal. So just slice, move the two bars like that, and then slice again. Here's the next case. We have three corners on the top and one corner on the bottom. So you want to uh, position it in which you have two bars on the right, which can be moved down, and that when you slice, this corner will connect to this corner. So slice, move it to the left, and then slice again. So here's the mirror of the previous case. We have three corners in the bottom and one corner at the top. So what you want to do is uh, move one corner only and connect it with the corner on top, like that. And then move this, corner, uh, this bar to the left and this bar to the right, slice again. Here's the next case. We have um, a bar on the top and a diagonal swap on the bottom. So uh, what you have to do is just bring one corner up, move this corner aside, bring this corner back down, and we have two bars. Here's the next case. We have a diagonal swap on top and a bar on the bottom. So what you want to do is just bring the bar to the top and then do this case where you can connect these two corners and then we have two bars and just slice. So that's it for this corner orientation video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.